Fora TV. The world is thinking. Internet communication depends upon, uh, at bottom, uh, every machine on the net has to have a unique identifying number. It's called the IP address. <coughs> you get it automatically when you sign on to whoever your, whomever your internet service provider is. That's what you get from an internet service provider. You get a number. Um, and a connection to a router, and that's then you can send and receive messages with that internet protocol address. When they set the net up um, back in the early 1980s, they allowed space for the internet protocol address that would allow for four billion numbers, four billion separate addresses, a little bit more than that. Um, how could you need more than four billion? It was preposterous that it could, they had about 80 machines on this network at the time. So four billion seemed like. It was effectively infinite, and in fact, it's now not big enough, not nearly big enough. Um, people have known this for the last 10 years. There are all sorts of funny technical kludges that uh, internet service providers have been using for years so that you're actually sharing numbers with others in real time. Um, it's getting to be a crisis, and there's a new version of the fundamental internet protocol um, that is being circulated uh, that will allow for and it, two to the 128th numbers. It's like we will each be able to have 46 trillion or something like that. I mean, it's, a, again, an infinite number. We'll probably run out of those, too. <laughs> but even whether we switch over to that or not is a matter of, of great concern. Um, and it, it will change the net. I talk about this in the book. It will change the net uh, as we know it in many uh, profound ways. So, you know, I'm not trying to be the chairman of the FCC. God knows. But if I were, <laughs> am I out there? Um, <laughs> I'd want to at least be on top of this. This is an important development for what it means about whether the net can, in fact, keep growing.